Hello viewers, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Farmer Tanto. So I'm a grassroots environmental activist, you know, I'm a farmer, I'm a social entrepreneur. You know, I grew up in a village, you know, today and I want to show you how we prepare a local delicacy from natural plants harvested in the wild. And this is called Nyango. Man, I don't know the name in English. Just look at that. This, these are the roots of the plants. It's been harvested from, from the wild. You know, and our forefathers discovered an amazing delicacy that they used to, they use this, this, uh, these root plants to prepare that delicacy called Nyango. It's like a local meat. Man. So let me try to... Ah! It's bitter, man. But in the course of the preparation, it's like they kind of put some spices inside that neutralizes the bitter taste of it. So I'm here with Belinda. Remember in one of my videos, I... I interviewed Belinda how she fried, you know, patch corn, corn and granite, you know, which is a local delicacy. So today Belinda is going to show us how to prepare nyango. Hi viewers, so Belinda is pounding the nyango. Hi Belinda. Hi Fama. I'm great to see you again so that you can teach us on how to prepare local delicacies. So, do you know the name of this plant in English? No. Really? Yes. Even I myself, I know as a botanist, I don't even know the name in English. So now when you pound this, it becomes powder. Yes. Okay. So please, can I try to pound? Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hi Belinda, so after pounding the nyango, now you want to use some ingredients. What are the kind of ingredients that you use? Okay, now that I will first put salt. Yes. There is water inside the pot. Okay. I will use salt. The salt, yeah? yes. Salt. Mm -hmm. And then maggi. Okay. Also salt, maggi, and what next? Niki. Niki. Yes. So what's Niki? I don't know that they used to call it English, but Niki is a, a plantain stem. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it's like Niki is made out of plantain um, a stem. Like this is a plantain stalk yes. where you harvest a bunch of plantains. Then normally it's like you use this and then uh, dry it, then burn it in the fire. After that, you crush it like to wood ash then you mix with water and then you drain to form niki oh my goodness this is great so what quantity of niki are you going to put now i will put half half of this half of this yes. wow okay because this one I will use and cook the remaining one. 
All right. Yes, that is wow. for me. That's why I put it much inside wow. the container. Wow. And it's kind of interesting. Nikki is a, like a local calcium carbonate. This is a nyango. Yes. Wow, in powder form. Yes. Wow, it's just like sugar. Hi viewers, this is the final product of Nyango. Wow. Belinda, how do you eat Nyango? Tastes like meat. You can eat this with fufu corn, man. Oh my goodness this reminds me when i was living with my grandmother about 30 years ago i was living with my grandmother she used to buy nyango and this replaces meat man nature has given us everything around us instead of eating meat that can give you gout let's go to nature and harvest and process our own meat you know our ancient parents they had a lot of indigenous knowledge how did they become about this you know to to know that you can harvest roots and then process it to come out with something very delicious called nyango. I'm sorry, I don't know the name in English, but it's called nyango. I know a lot of Wimbom people living in the diaspora, when they will see this video, they will be craving to eat nyango and they always love to come back home. Please guys, home is always home. This is our African cultural heritage. And I know anybody out there in the West from the Wimbom land, if you if you if you need nyango, please just get to us, you know, and we're going to process nyango. We can be ship it by DHL, and it will get you wherever you are at your doorsteps. We want to let the world know that your roots is your cultural heritage, and we do not need to abandon our cultural ways of living. So this is what nature has given to us. Something is just telling me that at some point, I think I need to do some research to see how we can start the cultivation of nyango as a crop so that we can now see how we can commercialize it. You can even prepare nyango as a birthday, like a birthday cake. It looks like a cake. Wedding. You know, you can prepare nyango and present to somebody on his or her birthday, you know? Wow. You can also use nyango for traditional weddings as well. Isn't it amazing? Wow. So you can cut a slice of nyango like this, cut it in little slices like meat, and then just fry it with tomato sauce, you know, put some spices, and you can pound your cocoa yams and eat with it. You can even eat it with fufu corn, man. Oh, hi, Belinda. So how do you market this? How do you sell it? Okay. Like uh, you see this small round one. Yeah. This costs 5,000 francs. Okay. And then this one, this one that I've gotten it. 
It's five five hundred francs. Wow. Yes. So now, if somebody is to order, this is somebody who lives in America. Yes. Needs nyango. How can you prepare it so that we send to the person? Okay, you can prepare it like this, and then you look for a clean paper, a, a not plastic paper. Yes. Yes, something like paper that you remove it from the back of flour. Okay. The clean one, yes. and then you wrap it. Okay. Inside the paper. Okay. Yes. And the person can put it in his luggage. Yes. And travel with it to America. Yes. Guys, all of you in America, please, we can. We can prepare Nyango so that you can have it in America. Please support Belinda. You know, she's an expert in preparing Nyango. We don't want our cultural values to disappear. That is why we need to get back to our roots. Please, guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do me a favor to subscribe, like, share this video. Together, we are going to support those making a difference in Africa to let them shine. I am farmer. No farmer, no future. Peace and blessings. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm.